Hello Taurus and welcome to your singles reading for November. So if you're single or you're a divine feminine in separation from your twin, this reading's for you. So thank you for being here and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So we're going to tap in, tune in and see what's coming in for November using four powerful decks of cards. We're going to use the Oracle of the Unicorns, the Life Navigator deck, the Journey of Love Union by the amazing Bridget Rowe, and we're going to use the Tarot de la Nui. Love this deck. So let's see what's coming in for you. Now, I've just done a general reading for you for this month, and it's really beautiful because you're simplifying your life. There's freedom coming in for you. You're feeling better. So you're ready for something new. You're ready for love. So let's see what's coming in. So thank you, angels. Wow. Okay, jumped out the deck there. So powerful. Wow, okay, let me just put these back. So amazing, okay, two of these cards, it was compassion and dance tried to come out too. Powerful. So the angel saying, have compassion this month. A lot of cards coming out for you. Have compassion this month for yourself, for anyone in your life, for the past, because it will open you up to the dance of the future. When you dance with the future, everything flows in. And when you're in the power of the now, you are in your power so amazing so a lot of cards coming out for you let's see what's going on so the first thing we've got is the knight of wands i love this and this is powerful because this came up for you in your general reading so this is you ready moving into the energy of passion purpose moving forward you're ready for anything and you're looking back now but you're looking back with passion and you're looking back with purpose so you're understanding why things have happened the way they have so you're stepping into your power, you're understanding and you know that you're being guided by a divine light. Look at the power there coming up from above. It's coming there from above, it's guiding you. So the angel's saying it's coming down, but it's also coming up because you tapped in with the energy of who you are, your earth energy. It's electrifying you, it's giving you power. It's giving you this sense of freedom that you're understanding the truth. And you may look back this month because someone from the past may return into your life. Somebody may make you turn around and really think about things from the past as well. So release your burdens. The ten of ones is fire energy. This could also mean that you've got a connection or you've had a connection with a fire sign because there's a lot of fire energy here. Or it could just mean which is more likely the saying that you're just feeling all this heat. You're feeling this power, this passion within you for your cause, for what you want to do. Something you're building in your life. You're feeling passionate. You're feeling confident. You're feeling sexy. A lot of sexual energy around you too. So you're on fire right now. So because of that, people are going to be interested in you. People are going to want you. They're going to be attracted to you. So you're in your power. So release any burdens, struggles and worries and give them to heaven. And trust that your divine one is on the way. Look at that there, the king of pentacles. So this is you because you're an earth sign. This is you and your power getting very focused and understanding the truth. But this is also showing you what you're bringing in. That you want someone who's focused in your life, focused on you. Someone who's loyal to you, confident and strong. Somebody who holds their own. Somebody who is very spiritual too. Tapped in with the universe, understanding. So this is a sign that you're attracting in everything you want. And I feel this energy coming in around you from the end of October. So as you move from October to November, you're going to feel this shift, this power, this change, this intensity. You're going to feel someone's coming for you. And you're being blessed by a book. So take any time you need to rest, to reflect, to go within. If you have any sleepless nights, it's only fear. If you have any worries, it's only fear. It's not real. Give it to heaven and trust in who you are because you are the empress. So you are a strong, powerful, divine feminine. You are powerful in yourself. You're trusting in yourself. You're realizing who you are. You're tapping in with the energy of the earth. You're thinking positive. So remember your power. We've got unbridled here. Your, your spirit set me free. So this means that you're taking off the chains. 
you know, you're no longer feeling chained to anyone or anything. You're feeling free. And this is so powerful, especially with the number 22 coming up. You're working with the universe. You're seeing the truth. You're moving out of any chains or fears and you're ready to, to fly free, to move forward. You know, you want to be with someone, but you don't want to be chained to someone. You want to be free to roam around and go where you want to go. We've got karma, what have we done? So you're thinking about the past, but you're blessing the past. You're releasing the past. You're trusting that everything happens for a reason and that you are safe. That the past has taught you so much about who you are. And would you say yes with insecurity? So you have to release any insecurity about commitment, about a future with someone, marriage. If you're a twin flame, if you're thinking about will your masculine return to you, you have to release that insecurity because, you know, commitment will come for you. Union will come for you. It's all there in the future and it's showing you what's to come. So the universe here is giving you a preview of what's to come. Proposals of marriage, proposals of a future, of a love. This is what's coming in for you. And I know you've been hurt before. And I feel that this could also signify for some of you, someone from the past returning, returning with a ring, returning with a proposal, someone from the past coming back, especially with this card coming out, because you're looking behind. So you're moving forward, but you're also looking behind you. You're actually wondering what's going on. Something's making you question things. So someone's going to come to you with an apology and an offer. It's showing you this is moving in, it's moving in fast. And you're understanding that you have grown. So you've grown in the confusion, you've grown through the pain. So someone could possibly come back into your life and you're going to feel like you've both grown up. You've both grown spiritually. They're giving me fear. You're releasing the fear of this because it hurts. A lot of fear when I'm connecting with this. And I do feel fear energy coming in around you this month because you're letting go. And you're simplifying things and you're moving forward. So if something gives you fear, that's a signal from the universe that you have to calm your mind. You have to go within and ask yourself the question, is this serving me? Is this right for me? Have I grown enough right now? And they're giving me the energy of 2021 to bring in a fresh start. So I feel there could be a new person coming in for you, but it's more likely someone from the past coming back. So this could be your twin flame or it could be a previous lover. This feels like torture. So if you feel like something's torturing you right now, let it go because you're having good days and bad days, highs and lows, ups and downs. Release anything that feels like torture because you're remembering memories from the past. So if you feel tortured by the past or the memories of the past, you have to release that right now and let it go. You have to start again if that's truly what you want. And I can still taste you. So you can still taste this person. You can still taste the past. There's still things on your mind about this connection. And no matter how much you try to move on or move forward or feel free, they're still on your mind. So it's very clear as the reading's going on that someone from the past is still affecting you. I can't sleep thinking about you touching me. So this is also about you dreaming about this person. You're connecting in sleep state and dream state, which means you're being reminded of their presence. So this is also a sign of twin flames, a sign of being reminded of this person. And I feel that you're being shown that you are a twin flame, that you are empty without them. And that's how you feel. You know, you feel empty right now without a person in your life. So you're fulfilling yourself in other ways. You're understanding the truth that you want a loyal companion. You don't need anybody that isn't serving you in your life. And this is a journey of love. We've got partnership. So you're moving forward towards a partnership, really realizing that you really have grown, that there's better things coming in, that you're, the doors are opening for you and that your beloved one loves you too. So this is very much about this eternal love, you know, a twin flame connection here. Prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to your life. Believe that you are lovable. So you're working on self-love and healing and it's moving you forward with power. It's allowing you to go over the past to work out if this is what you truly want. Because what you want is a loyal partner. 
somebody who can give to you what you give to them. Somebody who you can touch and taste and feel because you are a leader. So you're healing right now because you're moving forward in your life. You're being this leader and everything in your life is falling into place. But your love life seems to be on hold. Why is this? What's going on? Well, the angels are saying you're stepping up to who you are. You're sharing a message. So you've got this platform right now where you are healing the world by being you. You know, you're helping others to shine. You're helping others to thrive. But you're bringing in this polarity. So because you're leading others and guiding others, you're also healing yourself. So you're having these highs and lows, ups and downs, going through the darkness to find the light. And this is in your relationships. We've got flow. The more you go with the flow, the better things become, the better things feel. So have compassion for yourself at this time. Have compassion for the past, for what's gone on and take action accordingly. Move forward. Spend time in nature, nurturing yourself, feeling the energy of the earth around you, healing you. And let go of the, the fear, the past, the pain, anything that affects your mind. And take sanctuary in where you are now to bring in magic. So there is magic in your life. Things are flowing in. Things are starting to make sense. So aim high. You've got goals and dreams and purpose. Aim high. Have that focus. And set your intention on what you want. And be at one with all things. So you're at oneness right now with the universe. We are all expressions of the one divine nature and each living being is a reflection of that self. Real love becomes so much easier when this is understood. So the angels are helping you to understand what real love is, what this meaning is, to follow your joy, to follow your bliss, to move forward. So when someone from the past comes back to you, you can decide if it's truly what you want. If it is, and if it is, then you understand that you have to have compassion to realize that relationships are about balance. And this is what's flowing in, unconditional love, power, change, unity, with the dolphins there showing you the love. The best relationships are a reciprocal balance of being and having, having fun together just because you enjoy being together and seeing each other grow. So you've seen each other grow. You've seen each other learn, move forward towards each other, bringing in power and you're finding your way. So you're finding your way back to each other. You're finding your way towards what you want. You're finding your way forward. When the mist comes down and you can't see far ahead, when you're clouded in confusion, stay focused on where you want to be and then you'll get there. So focus on where you want to be and be open to miracles. Miracle healing, miracles in success, miracles in love. When your hands, your mind and your heart are completely open, this is when magic begins to happen. Drop all presumptions and be open to miracles. So miracles are flowing into your life and that's because of your mind power. So you're taking control. Your amazing brain can literally rewire itself. So get those neurons firing along new, more positive pathways and transform your mind, your approach and your life. So I really feel, Taurus, somebody's going to come back into your life this month. Someone from the past. This could be your twin flame. It could be a past lover. It could be a friend. It's going to be someone that comes towards you. And you're going to realize that you've got unfinished business with this person. You've got unfinished feelings for this person and you need to heal that before you can move on. You may move forward with this person. You may decide to leave them behind for now. But whatever you decide to do, follow your heart. Do it with love and power and purpose because everything you want is flowing in. The angels are clearly showing this to you. You want loyal companionship. Someone that fills you up, that you don't feel empty when you're in the same room. Someone you can't stop thinking about, that you still taste and you have memories about is coming into your life. And if it feels like torture, realise how much you have grown and that they are thinking, would you say yes to me? So commitment coming in. What have we done? 
thinking about the past and all the pain, but letting go of that pain and healing that pain and preparing to move forward because you are a strong warrior. You are the empress, you're ready. So release the past, release fear and get ready for a new beginning to be open to a spiritual truth, to be open to letting go of the burdens and the fire and the freedom so that you can move towards this freedom with you, with faith and love. Have a great month sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.